John R. Thompson, Mercy College alumnus and member of the Mercy College Board of Trustees. Your success represents the ideal to which many alumni strive. Prior to completing your education at Mercy, you made great strides in business with General Electric Information Services, and your experiences only broaden with leadership roles at Liz Claiborne, Goody's Family Clothing, Lee Jeans Division, and most recently as Senior Vice President and General Manager of BestBuy.com. Your personal mission of giving back is demonstrated through your service to the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation, Christo Ray Jesuit High School's Network, Boy Scouts of America, Voluntary Inter Industry Commerce Standards Association, and of course, to Mercy College. Through your accomplishments, your leadership, and your commitment to family, you stand among the brightest examples of what alumni can achieve, and through your wisdom, your counsel is treasured by Mercy College. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New York, and by the Board of Trustees of Mercy College, I am proud to confer upon you, John Thompson, the degree of Doctor of Commercial Science, honoris causa, with all rights, privileges, thereto appertaining. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. John Thompson to give the commencement address. Dr. Thompson. Good morning, 2018 graduates of the Mercy College School of Business. Are you excited? Well, if you're not, you really should be. 2018 graduates, parents, other family members, President Hall, Dean Weiss, faculty, board of trustees, and distinguished guests, I am both honored and humbled to speak at this wonderful occasion. First and foremost, I'm here to say congratulations to you, the class of 2018. You've labored long and hard, done excellent work, and we're all here to honor you and wish you well on your life's journey. Second, congratulations to faculty, family, and friends who were there, and still are, I might add, to support you, encourage you, and make a difference in your lives. No one accomplishes much alone. Graduates, Pause for a moment. Think about those that helped you appear here now and uh, commit yourselves to making a difference in your family, your community, your business careers, and of course, Mercy College. In preparation for this day, I asked a few recent graduates and some close friends about some advice about what I should say. Although everyone universally encouraged me to inspire you, they mostly gave me advice on what not to say. First, they said, don't assume that the graduates will cling to your every word as the imparted wisdom of an elder. Remember, there's a reason no one is paying to hear you speak today. <laughs> Second, don't tell the graduates to rem that you remember what it was like when you were their age. Frankly, your memory isn't that good. <laughs> and then third, don't tell the graduates to hold on to their dreams. The only thing they're dreaming about right now are their celebration parties, which can't begin till you finish this speech. <laughs> and the most important advice I received was to keep it simple and keep it short. Advice I'll try very hard to heed this morning. So let's dispense quickly with my task of sharing some solid motivational advice on how to be successful and have a happy life. Today is the first day of the rest of your lives. Work hard. Nothing comes easy. The world goes to those who show up, not those who are asked. Be prepared to fail and learn from your failures. Turn lemons into lemonade. Follow your dreams. Think big, but have balance in your life. Oh, and on a practical level, since summer is upon us, always use sunscreen. <laughs> Never wear a bad-fitting set of clothing. 
and always be on time when you show up for a job interview. There. That felt good to me, and I hope you all are duly inspired. <laughs> However, today I have a different goal. For starters, you all are fully prepared for the next phase of your life. During your time at Mercy, you've mastered our tough school of business curriculum, created stimulating social lives, you've scored some prime jobs by some of you, and while others of you are thinking about promising new ventures. So by all means, please use your considerable smarts, knowledge, and connections to be prosperous. Now what's going on in the world? Many economists are predicting a depressed, volatile global economy and an increasingly divided world. They say the world is too unequal, unstable, and unsustainable. Politicians are having difficulty getting things done, and leaders of institutions everywhere are losing trust. Moreover, many of the institutions that have served us well over the past decades, even centuries, have come under enormous pressure. The old financial services industries, industrials, our healthcare system, print media, and our transportation systems are all poised for transformational change. But if you believe, as I do, that the future is not something to be predicted, rather it's something to be achieved, then I think we can all be exceedingly hopeful, even cheery, about the future. Why? Two reasons. First, we're in the midst of a very robust U.S. economy with an unemployment rate below 4% for the first time since the year 2000. Now, whether that's sustainable or not, we'll have to wait and see. And second, you have the unprecedented power from another source. You are a generation of digital natives. I, on the other hand, am a digital immigrant. I'm trying to learn still the language and uh, culture that comes so naturally to you. Enabled by this digital revolution, you are at the early beginning still of the reinvention of these institutions around a new set of principles of collaboration, openness, interdependence, and integrity. So to prepare you to compete in this meaningful time of discovery and innovation, I want to share with you some very unconventional wisdom, four very practical and I hope useful tips from my own life experience. Point number one, your brand is what you were when, dot, dot, dot. Now, from a marketing perspective, brand management is a process used to target customers in order to increase awareness, create a specific image, generate sales opportunities, and build customer preference. So as I continue, think about a brand that you admire or prefer, and then think about the reasons why. Remember. A company's brand is established when they commit to a delivery of a product or service to a customer between the hours of 1 and 4 p.m. and they show up the next day. That's part of your brand. Or when a CEO provides EPS guidance to the capital markets and the company misses those expectations. When enough of these events happen, it's the equivalent of whittling away at the confidence in your brand. Well. The same is true for your personal brand. You create your brand when you have a project assignment and you consistently deliver on budget, on time, and with high quality. Or when you notice that a process no longer works for the customer, the enterprise, or the employee, and you bring forward innovative new solutions that improve business performance. This too defines your brand and your value in the organization. So here's the point. Don't ever let a job, a person, or a company define who you are. That is your job and your job exclusively. If you show up every day engaged in your business or vocation, every day trying to help the organization achieve its goals by connecting what you were hired to do to the mission and strategy of the organization, you are automatically creating a strong preference for your brand. So don't forget. It's your brand, manage it. Moving on to point number two. The journey is as important as the destination. Henry Thoreau, a noted 19th century abolitionist, wrote, 
The only ones that get anywhere interesting are those who get lost. Now, having a destination or a goal is always a good idea. Goals keep you focused, and they become a motivating force. But make sure you don't rush your journey. Your business career should be used to acquire knowledge, life experiences, and acquaint oneself with the unknown. For example, during my career at General Electric Company, I worked in finance, operations, marketing, sales, and technology. I worked with six or seven different business leaders, each of them with their own leadership style and their own idea about what good looks like. And because GE maintained a relatively flat management structure, you had two choices. Stay in a given lane, master a given discipline, and wait for the next promotional opportunity, or take lateral assignments that afforded exposure to different leaders, a change in responsibilities, a chance to broaden your business knowledge, and create greater visibility within the organization while preparing for future promotion. Now, I must admit, while I was pursuing this self-directed career management strategy, my wife, Carol, sitting up here, did remind me on several occasions that it would be a good idea to stay someplace long enough to earn a bigger promotion. Well, the good news is that it all worked out at the end. I'll leave this point with a quote from Arthur Ashe, the famous African-American tennis player. He said, success is a journey, not a destination. The doing is often more important than the outcome. Sometimes it's useful to think of your career as a series of smaller destinations. So don't forget, don't be afraid to get lost. Moving ahead to point number three, be fundamentally sound. While I was at Best Buy, we contracted the services of Hall of Fame basketball player Irvin Magic Johnson to help us decide where to open stores, hire the right team, and be successful in communities of color. It made sense. He had a good brand. He had successfully opened Magic Johnson theaters and a series of franchise restaurants in predominantly black communities across the country. Now, for context, since some of you weren't born yet, Magic Johnson was drafted number one in 1979 by the Los Angeles Lakers as a six foot nine inch point guard. That season, his teammate, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, was the league MVP. But midway through game five of the championship series with the Philadelphia 76ers, Kareem suffered a severe ankle sprain. When the team traveled to Philadelphia for game six, needing one victory to secure the championship, Kareem was unable to play. So on the road, the rookie guard started at center and eventually played all five positions that day in a dominating performance. He scored 42 points, he grabbed a game-high 15 rebounds, and handed out seven assists. He was able to achieve this outcome because he was fundamentally sound. He understood what was required by a player in each position. This concept is important from an application of your own business career. Each of you will be expected to be functionally sound in whatever discipline you choose, be that marketing, finance, technology, operations, or HR. But because organizations typically operate in a matrix and cross-functional structure, the greater your ability to see things from the perspective of every department, the more collaborative the culture becomes and the more successful the enterprise. Importantly, if any of you expect to lead a company, a division, or a department, your ability to be fundamentally sound is paramount. My final point is, make a meaningful and enduring difference with your lives. Ask yourself how you might live your life to make a difference for others. I have a few suggestions, you probably guessed that already. First, it's no accident that we all have the innate ability to tell the difference between right and wrong. The most effective people I know consider this when making uh, tough decisions, the unintended consequences when making uh, tough decisions. The year before 9-11, the CEO of Steelcase Furniture won a significant contract to install office systems at the Pentagon. Profits weren't great that year, so this contract was both welcomed 
and needed. However, after installation, many of the system's fabric treatment failed quality standards for fire resistance. Instead of taking the profits, performance, and dealing with the quality issue later, the CEO ordered a complete recall and replacement of all the office systems installed. Well, the following year, a plane hit that wing of the Pentagon, and the fire-resistant office systems saved lives. A valuable lesson about doing what's right. Second, the leader serves the organization rather than the organization serves the leader. So our task, if we want to serve others, is to help them experience a small amount of success and then build that success into a virtuous and perpetual cycle of larger achievements. Being helpful to others stands out as one of the most consequential acts of my career. Lastly, continue to improve yourself. Stephen Covey writes about the seven habits of highly effective people. And he tells a story about two men sawing wood. The first man works furiously, sweats profusely, while piling his stack of wood. The second man works diligently, but occasionally he stops but his pile is even higher. When the second man was asked what he does when he stops, he said, I took time to sharpen my saw. Graduates, don't forget to take time to sharpen your saw. Continue to learn so that you improve yourselves and increase your value to others. Make sure that your vision of what you would like to achieve is clear and pursue it relentlessly. My challenge to the graduates today is that you ask yourselves, what does this time demand of me? Find a way to make a difference for your families, your career, and your community. The great Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Graduates. It is an amazing time to be alive. I wish you the wisdom and the will to seize this time. Thank you, and congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, Dr. Thompson, and congratulations again. And now, graduates, class of 2018, it's your turn. <laughs> President Hall will preside over the conferring of the degrees, but for your safety and comfort, we request that family and friends remain seated during the conferral of degrees. Also, in the interest of time, we ask that students refrain from taking selfies and photos while crossing the stage. <laughs> you, you might got tackled. You will have the opportunity to take uh, photos with President Hall and the faculty at the conclusion of the program. President Hall. I have the distinct pleasure and privilege to present those students who have been certified by the registrar and the faculty as having completed all of the requirements as established by the state of New York for awarding of the degrees of Bachelors of Science, Master of Science, Masters of Biz Business Administration. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Edward Weiss, Dean of the School of Business, to call the candidates forward to receive their degrees. Dean Weiss. It's now my pleasure to invite the candidates for graduate degrees from the School of Business to please rise and approach the stage to be recognized. Congratulations, graduates.
Jessica Yubani Paredes, summa cum laude. Matthew James Carl, summa cum laude. Zulima Munoz, summa cum laude. Michelle K. Conti, summa cum laude. Anna Sankova, summa cum laude. Regina M. O, summa cum laude. Alejandra Carrillo. Zurpal S. Mohammed. Elaine M. Nanita. Mahalia Mighty. Gil Avalas. Joseph Hashim. Joseph Hashim. Devon Boyd. Farah M. St. Flavin. Caitlin A. Forrester Johnson. Vanisha M. Thomas. Kyle Patrick Stockton. Brandon Lee Wood. Tyra J. Wade. Victoria Mule with distinction. Katia Anderton, with distinction. Amoy Virgo. Atanesia Sharif, with distinction. Wesley L. Coy. Samantha Millian. Geneva Eslin George. Nadine Spencer. Marie Paul. Lizette Taylor. Ruth Rodriguez. Shirley C. Ruiz. Rain Janie Savino Tapia, with distinction. Wiener. Ross Seth Wiener. Michael P. Madden. Jasmine Desi Garcia. Amalia E. Ellis. Ross John Schnitzer. Stanley Sunny. Alicia E. Medina. Sherry Ann Mohabir. Rakia Hemingway. Alicia Nicole Willis, with distinction. Sharice Natalie Thomas. With distinction. Ashley C. Arena, with distinction. Simrat Chatrik.
Brooke A. Davis. Asia Madry. Melissa Heather Molina. Mariana Hidalgo, with distinction. Sharika K. Wilson, with distinction. Philip P. Mark. Valerie A. Thompson with distinction. Carlos Antonio Zapeda, with distinction. Eliana Laguerre. Mohammed Barry. Pin Shin Wu. No, Kim Ritzkoven. Lila L. McZangi, cum laude. Rochelle O. Mercado. Gloria Kodua. Bishmani Mahabir, cum laude. Michael Ferrari, with distinction. Osimel de la Cruz. Rod Lane F. Edmond. Jessica Yesenia Muentes, with distinction. Julissa Pena. Carol M. Distelhurst with distinction. Jessica Neves Ferreira, with distinction. Victoria A. Rivera, with distinction. Melanie M. Miller, with distinction. Nomali Sainto. Jody Adams. Milagros Cornejo. Michelle A. Gomez. Antoinette Nikic. Dominic Barbado. Anthony John Spinola with distinction. Michael Levinson. And Iris Nunez. Brian James. Gabriel E. Etienne. Joanne Marie Cabell, with distinction. Allison Louise Barnes, summa cum laude. Blake A. Kolya, with distinction. Rosa E. Villa, with distinction. Lorraine M. Hawthorne Morrison, with distinction. Francesco Barca. Stacy Fernandez, with distinction. Mary Hernandez, with distinction. Brandon Mejia. Stacy Jimenez. Clark Jarrell Myers, with distinction. 
Danielle White. Matthew H. Carter. <laughs> Lasonia A. Gordon. Epiphania Alta Adames. Eric Ogbafeje Okoko. Lauren Del Negro. Crystal J. Miller. Lisa M. Stewart. V. Gail Myers, with distinction. Ardennis Nicoli, with distinction. Juan Ozuna. Dennis John, with distinction. Cabo H. Manana. Roxanne Batista. Jennifer Ann Kajamarka, with distinction. Lisa Gay K. Scully, with distinction. John Castaldo. Jasmine Desi Garcia. Julissa McFarland. Beatrice Rodriguez Balu, with distinction. Ara M. George. Kelsey Celine Cintron. Crystal Kiana Rattre. Shade Sadler. Katie Lorraine Johnson. Therese A. Thomas. Francesca Morales Isambert. Jennifer M. Hill. Robert Wilder. Michael I. Cush. Eric I. Mantell. With distinction. Samantha A. Rubio, with distinction. Sarah R. Rizzi, with distinction. Kristen Ashley Olds. Alyssa Moraglia. Malcolm Edward Dean, with distinction. Mary E. Pujol. Tang Liu, with distinction. Kimberly Obando. Calvin De La Rosa. Fong Tu Le. Samantha E. Pimentel Jimenez, with distinction. Juliana Viana da Silva, with distinction. Daniela Lupsai. Martha C. Castro. Tiffany Gist. Sabrina Nadine Jean. Carla E. watson Bellone, Sandra L. Mendoza-Arias. Monica Y. Ward. Inika V. Ingram. 
Julia Joseph. Joseph M. Lockwood. Renee N. Abraham, with distinction. Vilma J. Chikaiza. Brandon Anthony Bryson. Jennifer M. Velasquez. Ilham Jamaladeen. Maria Charisma Garcia Hasek, with distinction. Dexter D. Joseph. Gina Rodriguez, with distinction. Christelle Lespinaz. Tasia Williams. Mujewoke F. Owo, with distinction. Zoabli Lionel Origu. Saran Diallo. Alicia M. Colon, with distinction. Nicholas T. Boyer. Anibiet Udo. Camilia Murasan, with distinction. Ramchandra Rana, with distinction. Katiana Galina. Alexa Haynes, with distinction. Joseph Jacob with distinction. Julian Douglas. Rashima Chetram. Jennifer M. Rodriguez. Huang Hien Nguyen. Essence Rice. Zena Glover. Lisa Amanda Pascal. Shonda S. Ross. Noelis L. Lee, with distinction. Diana M. Pacha. Randy Nunez. Brian C. Barrett. Ariel Elliott. <laughs> Eileen Brown. <laughs> Tanya Boone. Kevin Kevin Yagubi, with distinction. Katarina Overdeek. Michelle C. DeRiggs. Kavita Barat. Kevin Hera. Michelle Gurdonier. Catherine A. Tarod, with distinction. Riaz Nadim Khan, with distinction. Douglas Andrew Green. Catherine Nieves. Nandy Gonzalez. Nandy Gonzalez. Morinette A. Whitfield, with distinction. Hector A. Hernandez, with distinction. Suzanne Erica Moschette, 
with distinction, Deborah Barreto. Precious I. Johnson. Janelle Denton. Maxine Raymond. David R. Somers, with distinction. Andra L. Bertha, with distinction. Elaine Burks. Luke A. Hansen. Adonis Krasniki. Matthew Gallo. Amanda Corey Salomon. Miriam Terrible. Deanna Harris. Blanca C. Rivero Medina. Carla Rodriguez. Mervyn S. Morgan. Ashley Marie Prakanika Law. Jace K. Horsford. This time, it's my pleasure to invite the candidates for undergraduate degrees from the School of Business to rise and approach the stage. Congratulations to graduates. Elida C. Pena. Justin Tyler Lamb. Kareem Jenkins. Kevin Power. Magna Cum Laude. Tyler Sherry. Daniel B. Duati, Alexander Pena, magna cum laude. Shoba Persaud, magna cum laude. Shanella Ibel, cum laude. Crystal S. Bowden, Samantha J. Scoville, magna cum laude. Rishan Anthony Smart. Amanda M. Adams. Winston A. DeHardy. Aksa Katak, cum laude. Christina Caban. Anastas Papazov. Zihu Kanute. Monica E. Woolard. Summa Cum Laude. Vakanja Katuo. 
Dylan Zubak. Jasmine P. Vega. Magna Cum Laude. Elodie Angela Wernkar. Kokulaba K. Mujunangoma. Lisa Marie Velasquez. Zuma Cum Laude. Lisa S. Byfield. Crystal V. Berrios, Cum Laude. David M. James, Cum Laude. Sherwin J. Payne. Angeline Marie Walker. Tatiana Marte Ariaga. Jedediah Omore Bokai. Rhonda L. Lee. Jeffrey D. Barnett. Jennifer Perez. Francis Venicio. Juan Pedro Gonzalez. Anthony Daniel Sanfilippo. Jose L. Cadena. Shauna Akeen, summa cum laude. Kavan Darrell. Ashley K. Ricciardi, magna cum laude. Joanna Melgar, cum laude. Vanessa Ceballo. Elena G. Dulgarova, cum laude. Joseph Bascom. Christina M. Nance, magna cum laude. Kelvin L. Howard, cum laude. Raphael I. Jennings. Isaiah K. Cosberg. Emmanuel Uko? Uko. Emmanuel Uko. Diane Flores, magna cum laude. Edward Mendez. Marlena Marzigliano. Jennifer M. San Juan, magna cum laude. Samantha L. Cavallo, magna cum laude. Nisha A. Perales, cum laude. Nicholas Pulitano. Richard Dalton, cum laude. Edison Tenesaka. Hassan Kalik. Michael J. Lavery, cum laude. Lawrence Rodriguez. Sergio A. Kiorian. Henry Mora, magna cum laude. Giuseppe Spiniello. Katrine Anderson, magna cum laude. Natalia Udovichko, cum laude. Safira Alexander. 
Mario Joshua Alava. Adil Gowani. Jose Carvajal. Luca Lemos Menezes Lacerda. Magna Cum Laude. Hachi Verjoni. Cum Laude. Facundo Basiquez Cialis. Summa Cum Laude. Musa W. Nishiwat. James Calvin Holmes. Kawana Stevens. Summa Cum Laude. Justin Marchi. Gilbert Gonzalez. Oluatoyan Hakim Shita Bey. Stephen E. Soller. Brandon DiMartino, Cum Laude. Scania C. Lemus Valencia, Magna Cum Laude. Javier M. Padilla, Cum Laude. Bailey McCormick. Randall M. Mendez. John Young. William A. Mendez. Andrew Edward Galgano. Vincent Vacco. Vanessa V. Colazer. Francesca Harada. Dalma E. Maria. Jacqueline Galvez Sandoval, cum laude. Monica Molina. Melanie Galang. Michelle D. DeVries. Woo! Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Di Pasquale. Ariel Perret. Magna Cum Laude. Kristen Schutt. Summa Cum Laude. Taylor Price. Summa Cum Laude. Cameron Lorraine Clemens, summa cum laude. Jennifer Abramo. Alexa N. Kelnhofer, summa cum laude. Christopher Billado, summa cum laude. Francesco Volpe, summa cum laude. Ahmed Hamza Barada. Maya Stina Anderson, summa cum laude. Elise Pedersen, summa cum laude. Ingrid Margrath Fagerheim Losnagard, magna cum laude. Tamika N. Roach, magna cum laude. Kyla Upshaw. Sashmore O. Collins. Makaya Nacelle Gross, magna cum laude. Kiara Esley Davis. Lindsay Michelle Rella. Makaline Rodriguez. Mariluz John. Alinda A. Samuel. Yolanda Flores. Lizare Campusano, cum laude. Edwin Omar Martinez. Gregory Miguel Duran Hernandez, 
Magna Cum Laude. Dili Frenesi Berrios, Cum Laude. Emily Chavez, Cum Laude. Avery E. Haley. Taj Madhu, Cum Laude. Tunisia V. Fields. Ethaniel Jones. Christian S. Cornelson. Alejandro J. Nunez. Brittany N. Murray. Julio C. Silva. Viana Corrine Bensavenga. Jay Chaitnerine. Christine L. Comolada, magna cum laude. Ulisa Jimenez. Bianca Bardowell. Olga Perez, magna cum laude. Jada Monet Pinckney, magna cum laude. Jonathan Brian Cohen. Sean Taylor. Julia A. Casson. Melissa M. Motiram, magna cum laude. Anthony Zegorelli, cum laude. Glenn Hippolito Ortiz. Shivraj Baram. Anton Dervasevic. Clayton Banks. Christopher Kennedy. Peter McDermott. Matthew T. Cohen, magna cum laude. Tiffany Carlson. Alexandra Modlinski, summa cum laude. Lisbielka Rosario. Catherine L. Jameson, summa cum laude. Tanner N. Force, magna cum laude. Patrice Griffiths. Heather Nicole Carlson. Vincent J. Viaggio. Christian D. Riefenhauser, summa cum laude. Michael J. Longo, magna cum laude. Christian Luis Colazo. Travis O. David. Aaron J. Gonzalez. Casey L. Sullivan, magna cum laude. Agron Avdija. <laughs> Jessica M. Owens. Glenny Almonte. Crystal Hernandez. Maida Castro. Stephen Aranda. Bessie E. Williams. Edwin Storm Davila. 
Felicia Ann Castro. Melanie Garcia. Kiana Mashburn. Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Morgan Kogan. Summa Cum Laude. Deborah D. Howard. Cum Laude. Vanessa Batista, cum laude. Raymond Soto. Alex F. Galliano. David Fisher, summa cum laude. Dylan Copeland, cum laude. Ashley Zaccanino. Stacy Campos, summa cum laude. James Anthony LaVoy. David Salazzo, cum laude. Brandon Sanchez. Angel Mercado. Marlon William Marina. Brianna Adami, summa cum laude. Syed S. Ali. Eonathan Castanza Santana, magna cum laude. Marco Kazul. Nelson A. Singh. Diamond Janice Jones. Amila Charini Jayampathy, summa cum laude. Maria Clara Chagas y Souza, summa cum laude. Carolina Gutslav Sarazes, summa cum laude. Michael Payan, summa cum laude. Jessica Marie Waterfield. Cum laude, Elia Brandall. Marshall D. Pinks. Christopher J. Coles, cum laude. Lena A. Dimiteris. Kathy Rachel Arouse. Philip C. Perrier. Marvin Bonilla. Justin Alcade, magna cum laude. Francisco Mercedes. Robert T. Denote, cum laude. Rosemary I. James. Nicole Loscri. Nadia F. Tavares. Makeda Coleman. Well, members of the Mercy College class of 2018, in just a moment, as I confer your degrees upon you, you will join over 60,000 Mercy College alumni who've gone before you. You're joining an accomplished group of alumni, educators, CEOs, Major League Baseball players, attorneys, physicians, health leaders, community leaders, we're proud to add your names to this well-distinguished list. Now, 
Would all the graduates please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New York and the Board of Trustees, I now formally confer the appropriate degree upon all graduates who've successfully completed their course of study. It's now time to turn your tassel from the right to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2018. Please join me in congratulating our graduates. <laughs> graduates, has it sunk in yet? You're graduates. You are now sons and daughters of Mercy College, a great institution of higher learning. Down what other paths life may lead you, I hope it leads you frequently back to this college. You'll always be welcome here. Now that you're alumni of Mercy, has that sunk in yet? You're alumni of Mercy. I hope you will join and become actively engaged in the activities of our alumni association. In particular, I would like to invite you to return to campus this fall for Founders Day Festival on Saturday, September the 8th. Saturday, September the 8th. I look forward to seeing you then. As the years pass, you'll be glad you stayed connected with your alma mater. Thank you, President Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The audience is asked to remain in place until a platform party recessional is complete. Congratulations, members of the class of 2018, and best wishes for enjoyable summer and rewarding future. This concludes the 83rd Mercy College Commitments exercise. Thank you.